Uh, I just thought it was an overall just great effort by our team from, from start to finish um, against a really good Washington State team that we knew presented a lot of problems uh, for us. We always talk about our start and coming out in our, our first battle, our first five minutes of winning that. And, and I could not have been more pleased with our start and really our first quarter. And I thought that was really critical coming out against a team like this, especially um, on the road, neutral site. Our start was going to be important. And, and in this whole tournament, uh, we've outscored our opponents in that first quarter. I um, mean, I wanted to continue that trend. And, and just un I thought our defense was, was on point, you know, did a really good job of handling their ball screen coverage. The only thing that really we didn't do a great job of is defend the three-point line, but I thought our pull-ins and, and taking away the paint was some of the best we've done all year, and they got some pass back for some open threes. But uh, just overall, great team effort. You know, we won the battle of the boards by one, which is always key for us, um, and then we won the battle of the paint, which is critical, uh, 34 to 12. So I thought that was a really big piece, um, you know, that, that played into this. But just really proud of these guys, you know, this past couple weeks, how they've taken on this tournament, their approach, their mindset, our togetherness, how connected we are. Um, it, it's really just been fun to watch as a coach and, and to see all the stuff we've been through this year, you know, the ups and the downs and the really hard times. Uh, it, it shows, you know, what you can do when you continue to believe and you continue to stay together as a team. And, and just keep your head down and, and, and keep working, keep doing the right thing. Um, so this team deserves it. These guys deserve it. Uh, we're, we're, we're not satisfied, though, yet. We, we had one goal when we uh, were, were fortunate enough to be invited into this tournament. We said we wanted to go, you know, 1-0 and five times. And uh, we have one more, but, you know, it's going to be a really tough, tough team in, in Villanova. Um, brings me back. I know it's not the same coach, but I – have nightmares of when I was at Providence as an assistant and, and listening to Harry Peretta call out every play. And that was always my scout. Um, and, and I know, you know, with Denise does such a great job in running, a, you know, kind of the same system. So I, I know we have a, a tall task against a, a really, really well-coached team in Villanova. But uh, we're here and we're going to come ready to play. Okay, we're going to open up questions for the players. We asked those of you on Zoom to use the raise hand function to talk to any of the players. First question. Ricardo, after playing just 23 minutes against Tulsa, it had to feel good, you know, playing out how you wanted to. What was it like getting on the court and really being, being able to play, you know, your own style of basketball? Um, it was really fun. Um, like Coach Green said, we've been preparing really hard. So I think it was just kind of a translation from how practices have been for, honestly, the last three weeks, um, basically everything she said. But it was exciting to be out there with everybody. And we all were just clicking tonight with each other. We knew where each other were gonna, was going to be. And so it was, it was fun. So it's for all three of you. How much has it meant for you guys to be able to finish the season and then play in a competition like the WBIT? Um, I think it's really special. I mean, it's one thing to say, you know, we have opportunity to play in March. But not a lot of teams get to make it to April. And that itself is... You know, it's really exciting for all of us, and it's a great opportunity. So it definitely means a lot to, to me, myself, my teammates, and definitely for our coaches. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Just add, it's not really how you start, but it's how you finish. And I feel like we have a great opportunity to finish well on Wednesday. Next question. Coach talked about just the intensity, especially early on on the de defensive end. Just, I guess, how much of a point of emphasis was that coming into today, and how much do you think that was a factor in the eventual outcome of the game? I think that um, we did our scout pretty well. Like, like Coach Green said, uh, we could have been better with guarding the three, but I think that we executed what we wanted to do, which one of them was give a little bit of pressure so uh, we bought into it. Uh, I feel like we bought into our pressure defense a while ago. So once we're all on the same page, we just kind of go with it. And just to add, like she said, like we're just buying in. Like whatever the coach staff, we know they watch a ton of films, so they know what we need to do. So it's just like just agree with them, and it works out good when we do it right. Given the highs and lows of this season, to have the opportunity to play for a championship on Wednesday, what does that mean to all three of you guys? I mean, it's 
I'm speaking from being a grad student, so have the opportunity to play for a championship is amazing, especially to do it with my teammates. We, we've obviously had a lot of ups and downs this season, but it's not really how you start, it's how you finish. And we have a great opportunity uh, to take on Villanova, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, finish it there. And it just makes everything worth it. Like, we, we had some tough times. I think it's, that's a common thing everyone is saying. But just to know that we compete for a championship and cut down some nets still, even after how we started, I just feel like it's a blessing. Okay, let's go to Zoom. Uh, Joe Vazelli. Joe Vazelli from the Champagne News Gazette for, from Makaira Cook. Just you've played in a lot of different buildings, but – what, what about this place, maybe the Nets here, you know, you really like shooting here, and what kind of allowed you to get an offensive rhythm? Um, I would say that, well, we played here last year, so we were all very familiar with the atmosphere and the environment. So uh, yesterday when we had practice, we just focused and got our shots up, and you just come, and when you come for the game, you just get your mind right and – visualize and do all that stuff. Okay, one other question. Last question for the players. Indianapolis obviously isn't a far drive from Champaign, but how much do you guys feed off the energy of the fans tonight? I mean, it was definitely a sea of orange out there. There's so many of our fans that drove over from the university area, but other parts of Illinois. So it was really exciting to see everyone. They were loud, they were exciting. So it definitely was a boost to us. Anything else? Ladies, you're dismissed. Thank you very much, and good luck, and we'll see you again Wednesday night. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up right now for questions for Coach Green in right here. Coach, you mentioned uh, going 1-0 and five times is your goal for this tournament, but this is the first time this season you guys have won four games in a row. How really have you made that happen? You know, I mean, this is a team also that most of us were together last year, and, and we, you know, we put some of these uh, kind of streaks together and, and wins together, but uh, the, the biggest thing is just I think, you know, when you get into this where you win a couple games, I, I spoke about it yesterday, just the confidence – and, and their belief right now, and like they said, the buy-in. Um, it's really fun as a coach because, you know, they, I, just, I watch them play, and, and they're playing so hard, and, and they're playing the right way, and they're doing all the things that really we've tried to set in, in, in place and our core values from day one when we took this job. You know, and I have been talking to them a lot the last month or so about what Illinois basketball is and, and what, what it needs to look like. And in the last week or so, this is exactly my vision of what I want it to look like. Um, you know, the toughness and the grit and the defensive intensity and mindset, um, the togetherness, the, the aggressiveness getting downhill, um, just all of those things is, is what you need in order to be a sustained elite program, which is something we're striving to be. Speaking of you know, building the program, you're the first or you're the second coach and program history to start off 500 in consecutive seasons, but now you're one of the first coaches to reach a championship game. What does that mean to you? And what does that speak about sort of the program and legacy you're building here? You know, when, when you know, I, I took the job, a lot of people I think maybe thought, you know, I was crazy because um, I hadn't had success in a while. But I saw the great things about it and I saw the possibilities about it and, and I saw the people and, and the belief in it. and. It, you, I mean, from day one, we just brought in a, a winning mindset and, and this is what's going to happen and this is how we're going to go about it. Um, and, and, you know, we've done that for, for two years. And this year, again, like it maybe didn't start the way that we wanted it to and, and there were some ups and downs. But like I've said all along, when you're building a program, you, you can't just get there right away, right? Everyone nowadays wants just instant gratification. And it, it means more. At this year, right now, these wins mean more because of what we've been through. And, and we have to go through this. And, and at times, it was hard. It was hard for me. Um, and, but I'm, I, it makes it all so much more worth it. And it makes me, I know what we've all, the, the, the worst of the worst days, I know what we've been through together. And we continue to, continue to stick together, stay together, believe. Um, and, and that's what it's about. 
Janice has scored her 1,000th career point today. What has she meant to this team, and where would you be without her, really, in this tournament? I mean, Jen's been a, an unbelievable player since, you know, we got her here. And, again, what a great story of someone that, you know, we had recruited her when we were at Dayton. She told us no and went to NC State. Um, didn't play for two years, really, at all. And when we got the job, you know, we're like, come on over. And, and she worked herself into the player that she is and, and, and went from not playing to now helping us, you know, get to this point and, and has all been an All-Big Ten performer for two years. So the credit goes to her in terms of her work ethic, um, her belief in, in the confidence. But she's just playing with, again, I keep saying confidence. She's playing with such confidence right now. She's just so smooth and, and doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Um, and I feel like all of our teams playing with that right now. We just are, have some maturity about us that we did not have even a month and a half, two months ago in terms of being and handling some, some adverse situations and our responses within the game, which we always talk about are ours. They're quick and they're good and they're positive. And that's able to get us uh, to never allow really big runs. And, and so credit to, to our players. A team like Washington State, you know, you struggled against teams that are taller, longer early in the season. I might think of, you know, Maryland or Michigan. What made it so easy to get started on the offensive side of the ball today? I just thought we were really aggressive. You know, we, we got down her, downhill early that we wanted to, um, and we were really attacking. Uh, and when we do that, it, it kind of opens everything up. We hit some outside shots early, hit some threes early. When we do that, that gives us more confidence. Um, but with this team, it, it, starts in, it starts with defense. When we defend and when we rebound, we're, we're a hell of a lot better team. And, and again, that's the order. It's defend, rebound, and then we want to run. So that's our identity. And, and to be completely honest, that's why we've been winning the last few games is because we're defending at a high level with a great deal of intensity. OK, we have two final questions on Zoom. Let's go to Joe Vizzelli. John so Jovazelli from the Champagne News Gazette. Just um, to get 22 points off of 18 turnovers today. Just what um you know, just kind of speaking about the defense. What what was the factor for that uh, being able to do that tonight? You know, we have certain games where I think we can pressure a little bit more. Um, and this is, you know, they're talking about buy-in. A couple months ago, I keep one. I, I call this our what we call it a certain name, our defense, and I call it, and then we don't do it. You know, we're we're sitting back, and I'm like, you guys are. You know, I tried spelling it out. I tried everything, and, and they just they didn't want to really do it. And now they really like it. And now in practice, they're the ones calling it out. I, I, I'm telling them we're in regular, and, and they're saying they're in this defense where we're up and pressuring and trying to get into them a little bit more. So, uh, And when we do that, we started with that, and you saw – we got some steals. Dell got an easy layup. Um, we got into him a little bit more. Uh, we don't do it to every team, um, but it was something that it's, it's worked for us, and I thought that was really big tonight. And also, I think, gets us going and gets us playing really, really hard. Um, but we can't have success unless they want to do it, and, and they've been wanting to do it the past month. Last question, Matthew. Sean, how big was tempo tonight and just trying to get this game, you know, into your Phoenix and getting into the 70s and 80s against a team that likes to play in the 50s and 60s and likes to create a half-court tempo? Yeah, that was something really important that we, you know, we always want to play fast, as you know, Matt, uh, but it was something really big against these guys because I know that they necessarily, they only average 66 possessions. Um, all of the teams we've been playing in this tournament have been in the 70s. So we knew that they wanted to play a little bit slower, and that could be an advantage to us. But again, we can't run. We can't get into Phoenix if we're not getting stops and clean rebounds. So uh, that was the biggest thing. We've really been able in this tournament to play at the pace we've wanted to play at. Um, and I really think that's why you know we're winning the way we're winning right now, uh, is, is that we're playing with the tempo that we prefer to play with. Coach, want to congratulate you and thank you, and uh, we'll see you back here this Wednesday. Thank you.